Hello everybody, as you can see here we're approaching the 25 Ranger Tug and also the 27 Ranger Tug. We're going to take a look at this 27. It's the blue one. We're fixed to walk around side here. And as you can see the Ranger Tugs have been around since 1958. They're also part of the Cutwater series. They call them a pocket yacht. But we're going to check out this Ranger Tug today. And uh, let's see what we can figure out about or think about it. everybody welcome to the 50 somethings we're living life to the fullest and practicing for retirement hello everybody this is Bo from low and board the 50 somethings fix do a little review on a 27 ranger tug that we took a look at while we we're at the Stuart boat show here in January 2023 and we went on a Friday and it was a little bit bad on the weather so you know forgive us on that one we did do a lot of voiceovers because it was just so windy and fighting no rain bands coming in however uh, if you like the video give us a uh, comment give us a like give us a subscribe you know we're trying to build the channel and also okay as you see we approach the stern of this vessel it's got a uh, single 300 Yamaha outboard on it it's gonna provide plenty of power this vessel is going for like two hundred forty nine thousand nine thirty seven basically two hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's got a length overall of thirty one seven and a beam of eight six so you can trailer this uh, little pocket yacht or a ranger tug the uh, Ranger series came out, as we stated earlier, in 1958, but they've come a long ways and they've integrated the cut water. If you see right here, you do have a single walk-in door, and if you turn around in the cockpit, you have some flip-out seats, both on the stern and the left and right, or, you know, on the port and starboard side. Now, what you're fixing to see here is if you lift this lid here, you have a grill. You have a little sink there to the right of it, and up underneath that grill is a bait well, and these boats are designed designer can come with the uh, ability to fish them now on the inside I'm gonna let Laura take over and see what we got I do love these little tiny port window everything's convertible so um, all the seats for the most part are two-way this one comes down and extends your countertop for the kitchen Sorry, am I in your way? <laughs> Not a whole lot of storage, uh, but for doing the weekends, it is absolutely no issue. And then you have your single berth. And a wet head. So, more than enough for a nice little weekend outing. Oh, it's got the all-important Keurig. And seating in the front, but it's fixing to rain, so there's a good chance I am not going to go out there. has the conversion door so that the back seat here flips allowing you to face outward and additional seating on the back but weather's getting a little bit nasty here so there's a good chance I'm gonna go hide somewhere hey everybody um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Laura and I, uh, we, we try to hit all the boat shows and of course on the boat shows you can't just open these boats up and do what you want to with them. However, we do like to do a little bit of walkthrough and every once in a while I'll do a little research on these particular uh, Ranger Tugs. They range everything from your little 21 up to, I think they actually now have a 39 footer that's well over a million dollars. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, I talk a lot about the pricing of the boats these days, and it, it just amazes me. I mean, it is a gorgeous little boat, has everything in it, everything that you'd want on it, but $250,000, you know, that, that's the price of most people's homes. And uh, I don't know where we're going with all this. 
uh, I'm sure those that can't afford these boats are, you know, loving life. And the fact that you can put it on a trailer does alleviate some of the costs. Like myself and my wife and I, we have a center console. And we're looking at getting into a main ship 390, which we have to keep in a slip. So for the same, approximately about the same amount of money, we can get a fairly uh, newer model main ship, but then we have to keep it a slip and that's 700, $800 a month. So, uh, you know, boating is obviously an expensive, uh, I don't want to call it a sport or a hobby, but it is a lifestyle. And, uh, you know, we all love to do it and I hope you're enjoying it. And again, like I said, you know, everything we do here with this channel is just kind of like, uh, you know, middle age, living life to the fullest, guys, you know. You know, retirement seems like it's just getting further and further away from us all. So you got to enjoy it right here, right now. Be smart about it, but enjoy life. Live life to the fullest. And this is Bo from uh, the 50-somethings. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, throw us a like, throw us a comment, good or bad. You know, I'll, I'll take it as it comes. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.